All right, today we're going to talk about the coordinate plane. And uh, this is a lot of fun uh, because uh, you guys have probably played uh, Battleship before. And but that's just using one of the um, quadrants. Now, here I have a basic number line. So, and it's horizontal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it and make it uh, vertical. Okay, just let me move this over a little bit. So basically, this is what our coordinate plane looks like. We have over here, we call this X, and we call this one Y. So the horizontal is X, and the vertical is Y. Let's see another coordinate plane. Oh, very funny, Mr. Hank. That's a coordinate plane? I don't think so. That's just a plane. So let's make our grid. Let's start with some lines. Here we go. And let's make that's Y and this is X. Now that's what we call them. This is X and it's a number line, kids. And this we call this Y. It's a number line going vertical. So basically you got a horizontal and you got a vertical. Now, we have quadrants. Now, quadrants, if you think of the word quad, meaning four, and that's what we have. And our quadrants are, are kind of uh, goofy because they are counterclockwise. This quadrant one, that's like your battleship station area. This is quadrant two. Down here is quadrant three. And over here is quadrant four. Many tests and even study island refer to uh, coordinates in quadrant four or three or two or one. Okay, so let's just talk about where we start. This is our starting point. And of course, if you think of the number line, that's our zero. It's called our origin. Think of O, zero for origin. That's where we start. So basically, if I gave you some coordinates, and it would be look like this, x and y, you notice that the x is first. Well, in the alphabet, x comes before y in the alphabet, so x goes first. So basically, we're going either left or right for our first number. And then we stop, get rid of that, and then we stop, and then we go either up or down, up or down, up or down. And then we actually put our point where it belongs. So let me give you uh, a coordinates. Let's do this. Let's put a dot right here. Now the coordinates for this would be, and we start at zero, and we're going to go to the right because we start with x. So we're going to go that many places. Here we go. I'm going to erase this later. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we stop. So I'm going to get rid of those dots right now. And now we go up from six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right there. So the coordinates for this would be six, three. And it's in quadrant one. Again, let's try that. Here's our origin. One, two, three, four, five, six. We stop, and the next number is three, and we go up because it's positive three. One, two, and three. How about that? Okay, let's try another one, and then we'll do something else with it. Let's say our coordinates this time is going to be, and I'll tell you what, I'll write it up here. Let's do negative four, three. So where are we going to plot this? Negative 4. Well, here's the negatives over here. So let's start at our origin right here. Go to the left 4 because that's what we start with. X, 1, 2, 3, 4. Stop. And then we're going up because it's positive. 1, 2, 3. And there we go. In the future, you won't have to put these little dots in. Just one big one. So what we're going to do is we're going to label it, and there he is, 4, 3, okay? And that's all we really do. So one more thing I want to tell you about is called a reflection, 
okay? A reflection, it's a mirror image. So if you're looking in the mirror, you see your reflection. So let me put some more coordinates up here. Let's start with our first one. We're close to our first one. Let's go two, four, six, and up three. So this is six, three. Now what we want to do is we want to reflect this over the x-axis. So basically we want to jump over here somewhere. Because that's the x-axis. So if we want to reflect this over the x-axis, what we're going to do. We're going the same direction. We're going to the right because we've got to jump over the X. So this would be 2, 4, 6, and now instead of up 3, we're going to go down 3. So this is like a mirror image. Now did you notice that the numbers are still 6 and 3, but one of them is negative now. So let's show that. So here's the x-axis, right? That's the x-axis. We're jumping over it. Come on, jump over. And that's where we land. So these two are reflections over the x-axis. Reflection. Reflection. It's over the x. Okay. Let's do a reflection over the y-axis if we can. So this time, here is y. It's vertical. So we're going to jump over here somewhere. And I think if you remember about the x, we're still going to have a 6, and we're still going to have a 3. But one of them might be negative, and one of them might be positive. So let's go over here. Okay, here we are. we got to go over here somewhere. So let's do it. Go 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's go up three. One, two, three. This would be the mirror image, whoops, of our coordinates. So the mirror image for here would be negative six, three. So basically, we just jump over y like this. Let's go with this one. Ready? So jump over y. Jump over, and that's called a reflection over the y-axis, okay? This is a reflection over the y-axis. Alrighty, so that's what reflection looks like and our quadrants and all that fun stuff. Okay, all right, we're ready to go. Everybody say have a good night. Bye.